Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, coming to you from the Shade Wagon Studio. Stall, acceleration, multiplying torque to full coupling. Bam, welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. This is a good illustration of how a torque converter works. Now what's going on with a torque converter? It's actually multiplying torque from the engine through the transmission out to the wheels. And this fan's a great illustration. And what's happening here is this is actually would be bolted to the engine. So this is spinning an engine speed. When I'm at idle, well, it's stalled. This hen's not moving. I'll show you that in a minute. Then what happens when you take off, we start multiplying torque and then eventually it gets up to coupling phase. Not totally, and I'll show you that as well. What's going on inside that torque converter? Well, you can see it right here. It all starts at the front cover, goes through a clutch, a turbine, a stator, and an impeller. Better yet, I got one right here. Here's the actual cover here that's bolted to the flywheel. So this is spinning. And then this is a lockup converter. So this would actually lock up and give you that direct drive one to one after it's done multiplying all the torque and you just need speed. That's gonna do that for you. Now what's happening here is the first piece right here. This is the turbine. And if you look inside the turbine, you have these fins and these fins either rotate the fluid, either vortex or it goes through rotary flow and that's gonna multiply torque. It's gonna hit this stator and the stator then redirects the fluid. This is a one-way clutch. It locks up in one direction and it freewheels in the other, directs the fluid over to the impeller and bam, back around we go from the stator to the impeller. But man, that fluid has to change directions and people don't realize that fluid line, that's what's multiplying torque, period. Right, the fluid's actually doing the job here and it gets a ton of pressure and it creates a bunch of heat. Anytime we force the fluid to change directions that quickly, the internal friction in that fluid generates heat. So what you see, if you actually were to put a temp gauge on the converter out, it's flashing. So you can flash up to 300 degrees when you leave a stoplight hard and the fluid has to be able to take that heat. If it can't, you get oxidation. And what oxidation is, is the oil actually breaking down and you can stain this all up and if you get depositing or staining on any of these impeller parts or all those intricate pieces you talked about it can degrade the performance and that is not what we want. Now the lockup is either have a clutch material here I still have some friction going on on that one-to-one -one drive after the fluid did its job. Yeah but we can't get there without the fluid right so the fluid is going to get you from stopped to highway speed and all of that pressure has to go through it so it's critical that you pay attention to your the proper application of the fluid and then our end of it, building the fluid, which we take great pains to do it properly. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how much beating and abuse the fluid has to take. We just saw it inside of the torque converter. Why not use the best fluid you can to protect your valuable investment? You can do that by going to amsoil.com. Our PaintedAutoParts.com Motorhead of the Week has a story that'll make you smile. It's Nathan Genty. Now, Nathan tells me he learned a lot about cars from his grandfather when Nathan was growing up. And then Nathan went to shop class to learn even more. Well, Nathan seemed to just have the knack for things mechanical, so he became an engineer for GM for a number of years. Then he decided to strike out on his own, and he started a body shop, which is still going strong. But here's where it gets fun. Nathan and his wife, Amelie, met through a family member who knew they'd get along because both Nathan and Amelie had classic Volkswagen Beetles. That's awesome. And Nathan tells me they're a great match, partly because Amelie likes old cars, and partly because she's not just his wife, she is an enabler. They now have five vehicles and everyone is older than the couple. That includes the Beatles, of course, an 84 Ford F-250, an 86 Camaro Z28 with a 350 Vortec engine, and this 1968 AMC Ambassador Station Wagon. That thing's cool. The wagon is their main daily driver and it's pretty much all original with one exception. And it's a long story, but the original engine went missing years ago, so Nathan dropped in an LS motor. Regardless, once they saw the wagon, they knew they had to have it. And I think it's a great choice. Nathan Anomaly, and one of Nathan's friends, nominated him to be Motorhead of the Week, presented by PaintedAutoParts.com. And you, too, can rat out a friend. Just go to MotorheadGarage.tv and tell us your story. Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, rolls on right after this.